Yes. Well, I suppose I'd, I'd better see about the remains. Coffee? All right. It was nice of you to come all the way out here to tell me. All the way out to the Bronx. I don't believe I would like any coffee after all. I'll get it. Hello. Yeah, this is Hawk. Yeah, I told her. I think she's gonna be all right. I'll, uh... I'll have some neighbors come in. I want to get back to town. I want to get on this as fast as possible. 
はい Kids are stirring around in there. Thank, thank you. I'll, I'll go in and talk to them. There's one more thing. I'll get whoever killed Jim. I'm not sure that matters. It matters to me. Jim wasn't a bully. He was never that way. When we were about to be married, my father said, don't ever marry a cop. He was wrong. So, so then my father said, anyway, anyway, someday somebody's going to call you on the phone and he's going to tell you Jim's dead. <gasps> I'm glad it was you that told me. Black jeans, blue t-shirt. Dark hair, maybe, but nobody knows for sure. Nobody saw him clearly. What about the kids in the neighborhood? Well, there's the boss. You supposed to be the big man around here? Yeah. They follow me, that's all. All right, get rid of the rest of them. All right, beat it. Who did it? Nobody knows. Well, I'm going to find out. Is that clear? Yeah, you're clear, but I'm telling you, nobody knows nothing. Wait a minute. Maybe it wasn't from the block. <laughs> Easy. What I mean is, anybody from around here knows better than to knock off this joint. There's nothing here. There was a gun here. Never touch him. Well, somebody touched it. Well, maybe you know who took it. I told you no, nobody knows. Well, I want you to ask around because I got a message for nobody. Look, man, I don't give messages. Well, you'll give this one. Because I'm going to close this section of your neighborhood down so tight you're not going to be able to breathe. Hey, man, that's wrong. What's your name? Jingo, and I'm no stoolie. All right, Jingo. A police officer was murdered. I'm going to find out who did it. And the next time you find out something, you're going to tell me all about it. So you ask around, and you ask around fast. Is this your store? I told them that before. Now, well, tell me again. If you wanted to find something, instead of pushing people around, you should look for the girl. What girl? You didn't see nothing. I did, too. A girl in a night gown. You're going to get yourself in trouble. I saw her after I called the police. I got up, went to the window, and then out on the fire escape, because I saw something down in the alley. Then I climbed the fire escape and looked down to the garden next door. And I saw her. She was in the nightgown, and she turned the lights on for him. Still can't figure out what she was doing out here in her nightgown. Maybe Keeler was right. Maybe his wife was seeing things, huh? Maybe. Unless our girl in the nightgown uh, lives right here in the apartment. Three B, Mrs. Irene Gilworth, widow, daughter Lily, sixteen. Wait a minute. Yeah. Let me have this one. Huh? Squad. I'd like to ask you a question. Yes. My name is Hawk. I'm from the district attorney's office. Can I talk to you, 
Well, if it's a, about the events of tonight, I, I really have nothing to contribute. I live very quietly and alone. You live alone? Yes. I, I told you I have nothing to contribute. I also value my privacy. Well, I can appreciate that. Is your daughter home? My daughter? Yes, you have a daughter, don't you? Uh, Lily. She's 16, I believe. Yeah, she's away. That's what I meant when I said uh, I live alone. She, she's been away. Where is she? I don't see that it's any of, of your... She's in a hospital upstate. She's not well. I see. You tell me the name of the hospital? Is this necessary? Lily? Yes. She's not well. I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Well, I'm afraid I'm going to have to talk to her. You can't talk to her. Lily, did you I see I told a... you, you cannot talk to her. Did you see a police officer murdered out there in the garden tonight? No, she did not. Will you let her speak for herself, please? She was in her room, asleep. Will you let her speak for herself? She can't speak for herself. She'll never be able to speak for herself. She's ill, I told you. She's never spoken a word in her life. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. But... But she was out in that garden tonight, wasn't she? No. Yes, yes, she was. She got out of her room, but she can't help. Not with anything, because she doesn't know a thing. Not a thing. It's all right, darling. Everything will be all right. Mrs. Gilworth, a senseless crime was committed tonight. A police officer, a friend of mine, two children, was murdered. Now, I believe your daughter can help me find the man who did it. My daughter is mentally ill. She's, she was born this way. Is that a crime? We've never bothered anybody. No, leave us alone. Please, leave us alone. Maddie Mulroy. I see. What's the address? All right, thank you. Well, maybe we got ourselves an eyewitness. Yeah, I know, but she can't talk. Can you check her out? I got identical stories from 12 different neighbors. The girl lives alone with her mother. They keep to themselves. They're very quiet. She goes to a special school. I talked to the director of the school, but uh, very briefly. What do you tell you? A name. Autism. Autism? Lily Gilworth is autistic. She's been that way since birth. What does that mean? She's mentally retarded? I don't know. I don't think so. But he didn't have time to clarify. Well, I couldn't get through to her. If she is mentally retarded, then that's it. We don't have a case. But what if she saw the shooting but doesn't understand what she saw? Well, I don't want a judgment. I just want a witness. I want a description of the act. How about the mother? That's no help. She's scared, she's uncooperative, and she's built a wall around her and the kid. Yeah, well, I guess she can't much blame her. No, I guess not. In the meantime, Jim Berry is being buried by the department with honors. And Jane is left with two kids. I think I can get through to that girl. How? Well, maybe Dr. Mulroy can give me the answer. You still haven't told me your name, Lieutenant. My name is Hawk, Dr. Mulroy. Dr. Matilda Mulroy. I understand you sometimes help out the police department. Sometimes. All right, then maybe you can tell me what is autism? Autism uh, can be described as withdrawal. The inability to communicate. That is what you asked, isn't it? About autism? Yeah. It's very difficult to define. Some children are born this way. To tell you the truth, we don't know much about it. Well, that's surprising. You being sarcastic. 
Yes, I am, Doctor. As you see, it seems that every time I get an offender into court, one of you psychologists explains away the crime because the man was in love with his baby blue blanket. Cops. Overflowing with aggressions. Uh-huh. Hawk. What is that, an Indian name? Matilda Mulroy. What kind of a name is that? Come on, Mr. Hawk. You want me to help you or not? All right, Doctor. A police officer, a friend of mine. He had a wife and two children. He got it when he was chasing a punk who robbed a candy store. I only got one witness. And the witness's mother says she suffers from autism, that she's autistic. How old is the child? The child is 16. At that age, the, the chances are maybe 100 to 1. She never will speak, never communicate at all. Thank you, Doctor. I'm sorry. Well, who are you sorry for, Doctor? The dead cop and his family or that girl? Both of them. I want to talk to you, Jingo. Alone. What'd you find out? What'd you find out? And I'm only going to ask you one more time, what'd you find out? He, he's from out of the neighborhood. What's his name? And there's nothing anyway except maybe this guy likes guns. What's his name? Hal. Hal what? Hal, a few blocks north. Thanks, Hugo. What is it you want? I want Hal Kern. Is he in? Mm, he isn't here. Didn't you hear me? I said he... You better watch out whose house you break into. And what conclusions you jump to. Hey! Curran. Is your name Hal Curran? Yeah, who wants to know? The police want to know. I didn't do anything. Then what are you running away for? Who ran away? Come on. I've 
got to tell you this. I'm not saying anything. I'm not even giving you my name, rank, or serial number until my lawyer gets here. And uh, he happens to be vacationing right now in the Bahamas. Or is it uh, Bahamas? I don't know. I don't take vacations. Huh? I said I don't take vacations. Well, you should. Well, let me tell you something. The, uh, the human storm and strife we live in today wears down the human spirit. Well, what do you know about the human spirit? Hey, you're surprised I know some words, right? I know a lot more. And I know some people who have verified the fact that I was with my family totally last night when the cop got killed. So what do you hold me for? You mean the charge? Yeah. Running across the rooftop. That's no charge. Yeah, well, I think it is. So why don't you go back to law school and look it up, huh, Junior? you coming down. Shall I tell you the truth? Mm-hmm. Well, I was going to hang up on you when you called. I mean, after that hand-to-hand -hand combat in my office. I'm sorry about that. Well, you lost a friend, Lieutenant. It was understandable. Yeah. Would you like to uh, step in my office? Before we go any further, will you promise me something? What? That we don't use this girl. How do you mean, use her? That we don't force her into anything she's incapable of handling. I don't want her to handle anything, Doctor. I just want her to give a short soliloquy on what she saw. You won't get it. She can't give it to you. What if all I want her to do is come face to face with the suspect? All she has no, to do is... No, you don't understand. These autistic children usually have just turned themselves off, tuned out the world, to put it simply. They let in only what they think won't harm them, if they let in anything at all. Well, how's this going to hurt her? How? I can't tell you that, because I, I don't know. But if, if she was a witness to a murder, it could be that the violence has forced her deeper into her illness, wrecked any chance she may have had of coming out of it. Well, I can hold her as a material witness for 24 hours, Doctor. No, no, that would only harm her and gain you nothing. Why don't you tell her that we don't want to harm her, that we're her friends? No. Those are evaluations she can't possibly make. Suppose I showed her a picture of the suspect. All she'd have to do is just nod if she recognized me. You're just reaching now, Lieutenant. You'd still be facing her with something that would represent danger to her. It's just a matter of degree. All right, Doctor. Will you talk to her? You talk to her mother with me? I want to. Remember, I can't promise you anything. And the child comes first. Yeah. The child comes first. I'm packing. Where are you going? To get away from here. I thought it was safe. It isn't. Mrs. Gilworth, may I ask you some questions about your daughter? No, you may not. Dr. Mulroy is a psychologist. She's only trying to help. Who? Both of us. Let's start with Lily. Don't waste your time, doctor. Please, I've been through psychologists by the dozen, and psychiatrists, and therapists. I've come to learn there isn't any help. I've accepted this. I want to see Lily. For what? I want her to identify a murder suspect for me. What kind of a person are you? I'm a police officer. I'm holding a murder suspect for 24 hours. That's all I can hold him. And that time is almost up right now. Now, I think he's guilty. She's the only one that can prove I'm right. Mrs. Gilworth, the detective could have asked for an extensive examination of your daughter as a witness to a murder. Now, he wanted to avoid that, and he came to me. I want to help if you want me to. She can't do what you want her to do. 
Go and talk to her if you want. Will that satisfy you? Yes. Come along. Lily? Lily, I want to talk to you. You aren't deaf, are you? Lily, listen to me. Turn off the music. Turn off the music. Oh, Lily. You, you can do a lot. You can do a lot more than you think you can. I have to think of my daughter. I don't want to stress the obvious, Mrs. Gilworth. But a police officer was murdered out there in the garden, protecting you and your daughter. Do you know what it's like to love a child like that? Well, when you do, then you can ask me to sacrifice on behalf of the people of New York. People who don't even care if she has a home or, or lives in a cage. I appreciate you letting me talk to Lily. How long has it been since she was tested by a psychologist? Two, three years, maybe. Mrs. Gilworth, if we could get Lily to make one single audible response, it would be a beginning. You see, things are being done. Research is taking place. Lily, look at me. Come on now, look at me. Yeah, that wasn't so hard now, was it? That's all I wanted to do, just go to the police station and look at someone. You're not still suggesting that... Yes, I'm suggesting. That's what we came here in the first place for, Doctor. I came here to help a child. Lily, go to bed. Go to bed. I'll be in in a minute and tuck you in. You were moved by her then, weren't you? Yes, I was, Doctor. But I still want to take her downtown. I just wanted to have her look at someone, and that someone doesn't know that she can't speak. But if I'm right and he's guilty and he thinks she's talked, then I'll have him. Now, you can either help by bringing her down to the police station with me, or I'll get a paper and have her confined for examination. Now, you have your choice. What's it going to be? Oh, I'll go get undressed. You're using her like a, an object of evidence, a, a, a bloodstained shirt or a gun. I, I don't know. That girl saw a murder committed. We don't know what's going to go on in her mind when she sees him. All right, doctor, you tell me that it's going to hurt her to go down to the police station. Go on, tell me. It's going to hurt to go down there. I can't. I, I don't know. Well, I don't know either. I asked you to help me because I needed you. But I'm not a social worker, doctor. I have a job to do. And you can bet I'm going to do it. Uh, I think Captain Michael's over there can help you out on that. You can go over and see him. Carter, show the ladies inside, huh? All right. All set up? Yeah. Right this way, ladies. 
I want my son. Hello, Mrs. Kern. I said I want my boy. You got nothing to hold hell about. Well, I think I have. I told you he was with me all the time with his mother. Well, I'm checking that out. You calling me a liar? Well, mothers have a tendency to be forgetful when it concerns their children. I don't forget anything. I'm not forgetting this either. Holding a boy for no reason. Do you have any record on him? No, you don't, because he doesn't have any. Mrs. Kern, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. I have a lawyer, and he's on his way over here. You can't hold him over 24 hours, you know that. What do you think you're doing to my boy? Nothing. Yet. Who does he think he is? I don't know. How much longer are we going to have to sit here? He said it wouldn't take long, but nothing has happened. Would you two ladies please wait outside on the bench? time left. Yeah, I know. Come on, Lily. Right over here. Just stand right there. All right, bring him in. All right, come with me. saw the girl, she saw everything. I told you, I got nothing to say. I think you have. You murdered a policeman, you shot him down in cold blood, and that girl saw you do it. I was... This is called a habeas corpus. You were just about to say something, weren't you? No, 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 Hold it. Now, you can't hold this boy over 24 hours on suspicion. You know that. Yeah. All right, then. He's released. Unless you'd care to risk charging him with homicide. Not this time. Come on, Al. Not big man. Maybe next time you lose your badge. I appreciate your your thoughtfulness, Lieutenant Hawk, but I I don't think it's necessary. Lily's packing now. It's a 7:30 flight. Well, I'm sending a squad car to take him to the airport. I had to release the boy. I I don't want anything to happen to Lily. Yes, Lieutenant. Goodbye. Lieutenant Hawk is sending a car to take you to the airport. We'd better hurry. It's kind of him. When you get to Rochester, you will go to the clinic. To get the same answers? Perhaps, but it's worth the try. You saw her there, facing that boy. Nothing. No sign of life. Nothing. Perhaps he isn't the boy she saw in the garden at all. The detective thinks he is. The detective is a human being and very fallible. Well, anyway, Lily won't have to try to help him anymore. I'll go get her dressed. Lily, it's time. Lily? Lily? She's gone.
say, look, I told you to sit down. Do what I say, and I'm not going to hurt you, okay? Hey, look, I, I didn't want to grab you like that. In the garden, I didn't want you to start hollering. My place, you've done the same thing, right? Well, anybody would, right? Hey, I asked you a question. I said I asked you a question. Do you think you're rattling me by clamming up? And you didn't clam up with Lieutenant Hawk, huh? You what? Huh? Huh? <laughs> you put me on or something? Cut it off. Hey, you, uh, better stop coming on like some innocent little pussycat baby. I'm warning you. You see that? It's loaded. Come on, pop the virus, baby. I don't know what time she went. She's gone, that's all. She's gone. Carter, search the whole neighborhood. Right, top to bottom. I'm afraid. I you see, I remembered when the policeman was shot looking down. And then I saw that boy in your office. And he was the same boy, right? If he's found her, he'll kill her, probably. I want to know what you told him. Look, I can tell you right now. One, two, three, over the edge. You're cool. You keep your cool, right? Let's we'll see. Now, what'd you tell him? You're not so cool now, right? Oh, don't cry. Cry ain't gonna help. may be committing murder right now. You're lying. No, you lied. You lied when you said he was with you. I don't want to hear any of your dirty stories. Check the stairs. <laughs> Do you know where he might be? You gonna talk? Look, I don't know whether to kill you first. What's that supposed to mean? Well, say something. Say something. But you don't talk at all, do you? Do you? That's a laugh. You, you, you can't talk. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Big? Now they got me for kidnapping. I mean, if they find you. If, if I'd known, you know, that you were the way you are, I, I could have forgotten the whole thing. I know about you. I mean, I went to school once with kids like you. I'm not a monster, you know. What am I talking to you for, anyway? Boy, maybe if I leave you here and disappear, just get out. Maybe that's the answer.
I'd like to help you, but... I don't want him to hurt anybody. I never did. But I don't want him hurt either. I can't wait much longer. You know, when I saw you both times, I thought you were... I mean, you're beautiful, and it's too bad you're the way you are. It really is. Look, talk to me. Try to talk. I never killed anybody before in my life. Everybody's out to get you, you know? Everybody getting what he can. I'm sorry you saw me when I killed. I mean, I felt sick and dead myself like I wasn't going to be alive anymore. And I saw you there so cool. But you're too cool. Sorry. <laughs> 